Hey there guys, I'm gonna go through some quick tactics that you guys can implement immediately to help increase your show rate. The first things, these are the things you absolutely should already be doing. If you're not doing these, please start today doing these tactics. Um, appointment reminders. It's really important that your leads are getting appointment reminders. And we recommend using patient streams appointment reminders um, because they're more robust and they're specifically designed for new leads. Oftentimes we've seen in the doctor's appointment reminders that you have maybe with your EMR or your EHR um, are for people who already are coming into your clinic. The ones that are in patient stream have more um, focus jargon for new leads who have never seen you, never met you, it has your address, it appeals to them, letting them know you're a real doctor, setting aside real time. So we recommend using patient streams appointment reminders. You do that by scheduling appointments in the patient stream calendar. It's as simple as that and they'll automatically fire off for you. We also recommend doing a manual call the day before their appointment. So the day before, just have a person in your staff pick up the phone, give them a call, and remind them of their appointment for the next day. We do have a calling script for this. I'll pull it up right here and go over it here with you, and I'll also post it in our lesson. Um, so our goal is to maintain at least, this is a 70%. Um, we say at least 50%, obviously 70% is ideal, but if you're getting at least 50%, that's acceptable as well. All right, so here's the script. Hey Mary, it's Sam um, from Kelly Chiropractic. I know you're busy and I wanted to touch base really quickly with you before your appointment uh, with Dr. Smith tomorrow. You should have received directions on your phone. Did you get those or do you want me to send them again? Great. Uh, well, the first person you'll be seeing tomorrow is me, so I'm excited to see if we can help. And one last thing before I let you go. If for any reason you need to change your appointment, please let me know so we can give your appointment slot to others who may be waiting to get in. Sound good? All right, great, see you tomorrow, thanks so much. Okay, and uh, so that's the script, I'll post it in there. Um, make sure that you're happy, make sure you're upbeat, um, and yes, those are our recommendations for that. The other thing, and this is really important, don't schedule your appointments farther out than three days. I know life isn't perfect, and sometimes this is really, really difficult, um, but the if you schedule them out farther than three days, the odds of them showing significantly decrease. So if you wanna keep your show rate up, get them scheduled within a three day window, okay? So these are the first three things that we absolutely recommend you implement right away. The rest of these strategies are, you can kind of add them in as you need if you feel like those, um, those first strategies just aren't enough, you aren't getting that 50%, then here's a couple other things you can do. Um, the first one is to double book your appointments, and that might put a lot of you into anxiety and worry, and how do I do that? How do I juggle multiple people coming in at the same time? Um, we have a double booking protocol. It's in um, the lesson, not in this lesson, but it's in the lesson, I believe, after this one or in that same block. Um, that you're welcome to look at. It's Dr. Sonny's booking protocol. He walks you through exactly what to do if you have two people come in at the same time. Um, it's really simple to implement too. He's made it really clear, which is really, really nice. But what this does is it opens up your schedule so you have more available appointment times to get more people in in that three-day window, right? We wanna make sure we're getting them in. The other thing it does is 50%, um, right, or is our goal, is our show rate. So in a perfect world, one person would show and one person wouldn't, which means you wouldn't waste any time. Obviously, life isn't always perfect like that, um, which is why we have a protocol set up for you in case you do have a couple people coming in at the same time. Um, the other thing you can do is over the phone consultations before actually booking in person. Now this would be with the doctor. The doctor would hop on a phone call and it would be mostly learning about them, fact finding a little bit, um, getting to know their condition, qualifying things like, how long have you had this problem? What have you tried so far? Are you on any medications? Have you had surgery? Things like that. And then at the end of it, it would be, okay, great. Well, from what I'm hearing, um, you sound like a perfect fit for our program. I won't know for sure though until I see you. Um, so this, this is building a relationship with that lead. And of course, if you don't feel like they're a fit for the program, then you can say it, it don't sound like a fit. <laughs> and you can 
um, pass them on, right, to maybe if you have someone you refer to or, or however you handle that. Doctor calls at the end of the day. So um, what this is, is at the end of the day, um, the doc would see all the people that his team has scheduled, his or her team has scheduled, and would call those people and just say, hey, this is Dr. Kelly, my staff, uh, my team, uh, let me know that I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm really excited to help you out. I help people with knees all the time. We, ha we have like an 80% success rate. So um, I'm happy to see what we can do for you and see you tomorrow. Thanks. Something short and sweet and simple like that um, just really builds that rapport, that relationship, okay? Um, there's also a video version of this. So it's the same idea as the doctor calls at the end of the day, but instead of a voice call, it's an actual video. So they get to see your face. They get to see what you look like. Your staff can do this as well. There's another training that's separate from this one in the same module that you can see um, that will walk you through how to do that. Um, it's really simple, you know, and it, it's not too time consuming and it's nice. You can control it. Um, They'll see you for sure. It's just a really great option and really builds that rapport. And then this one is the last one. The very bottom of the list is to charge for an appointment. We don't recommend doing this right off the bat. We don't recommend doing it before all of these. Um, we recommend doing it as your very last option. And that's because if you start charging for appointments, your appointment scheduling rate will suffer, okay? So you're going to have people who aren't really ready to trust you and give you money to come in to see what you're all about. So we typically say, leave this as a last resort. Um, but if you've tried everything and you're pulling your hair out, then go ahead and try to charge for an appointment. All right. Thanks. Let us know if you have any questions.